We finally unlocked the Outback Festival, which if we check our map opened up a bunch of new events. So I wanted to get into into all of these and basically start to do them and stuff like that. So let's head over here. We've got a bucket list over here I think we should go do. Then head all the way over here, do the circuit race, and then do some of these up here as well. Maybe find this barn up here finally. One of the things I also want to focus on a little bit today is going to be doing a lot of head-to-head -head races. One of the things we haven't done yet for a pretty long time has been the street races. And to unlock some more street races, we need to do some like 10, 10 of these head-to-head -head races. So we need to find guys like that basically, which are going in vaguely the same direction as us to a similar location and race against them. So today we're not gonna be fast traveling anywhere. Today we are gonna be driving from place to place to place, racing people along the way as we find them. Like I probably should have raced one of them or maybe this guy should race. Helios, hello Helios. Ah, oh, Helios, you're not an easy dude. You're good at Forza, man. You're in a California team. All right, you may lose. My car is quite a bit faster than Why are we going all the way over there? Oh, well, it's just not too far from my original destination, which was right there. So that's good. I mean, I usually just try to beeline every single one of these head-to-head -head races just because I find it so much faster than driving the course. Oh, there we go. Cross the line. I win. Yes. Nine more to go. 18 head-to-head -head races won. That's pretty insane. So we were heading out there to that PR stunt. All right, let's go over there. We were basically like right there and we, we started up the head-to-head -head race. Oh, we've drown the Ferrari. Anyways, let's head out to this location right here. Ooh, we're in like, what is this place called? It's like where all the uh, Tonka trucks are basically. If you were ever wondering, my first obsession with vehicles wasn't exactly cars. I love trucks like this. When I was a kid, my parents always tell me there, there's somewhere a video of me. I was like three or four years old running around the beach, pushing along like one of these like little toy things that I had. And it was like my most favorite thing to do. This isn't a bucket list, it's a danger sign? Well, boy, did I screw up. Let's hit this danger sign, pull in some huge fans for it. I can't actually see it. I can't see it. Oh, it's all the way over there. And nail it. Boom, buddy. How far do we have to go? I mean, that doesn't seem like too far. 300 feet, that doesn't seem like very much. But that's gonna be a new personal best. Obviously, we haven't done that one before, but two big stars from that, that's not too bad. 100,000 fans. Holy shit, 2.2 million fans. That's awesome. I don't know how many we need to expand our, our festival. We need 400,000 more fans to expand our next festival. Not bad. All right, so let's go do this circuit race down basically complete opposite direction where we are. But hopefully we can find a, uh, a drive dude on the way who can help us get some stuff done. So are any of you guys going this way? Oh, Helios again. I'm so sorry, Helios. You're having a bad day. Still in the California T. Oh, it's starting to pee down with a little bit of rain over here in the Australian Outback. I didn't know it like rained in the Outback. I mean, I guess it does, right? They've got pretty severe storms, don't they? 1.1 miles towards this finish line. We'll actually be right next to a... Oh, that's the thing. I don't know which trees I can knock down. Still, it's part 12 of this Let's Play. And I still haven't learned that tree is good. That tree is bad. It's just like, I still haven't done that. Anyways. Cross the line, eight more street races to do. We're gonna be doing these throughout the episode, so I hope they're not too boring for you guys, but anyways, our, our original waypoint, 1.5 miles that away. Let's go get it. Ah, oh, look at it, get all dirty, man, or we'll get all clean. Look at it, it actually cleans up the car a little bit. Anyways, I'm hoping here, oh, it's a cross country circuit, so we, we, we sh totally should have gone in something off-roady. But can we take, yes, I was just about to say, can we take our buggy that we got last episode for free? Can we take it this episode? Yeah, we can. All right, so we're going up against the Razor, the RZR Razor. We're going up against probably the pen hall in there somewhere. Maybe an aerial nomad. I really have no idea, but let's just go for it. See what we can do. There's the Razor. There's the thing I'm in. Oh my God, the suspension travel on this thing. Quite a bit different to the Ferrari. I'll say that much. Look at these little Razors. They look so like top heavy. It looks like you can roll them so easily. I would not want to be driving one of those in this race, jumping and going over. Just wall tap the thing. Sweet. Oh, you know what? I've done this race online before. I've totally done this race online before. I know this race. Look at that seventh place already. We're not, make that sixth place because the guy just died. Oh, I almost clipped the plane. Yes, this is looking good. Up to fifth place now. This buggy is so awesome. 
I have no idea what sort of upgrades you can do to this thing. This thing's my first buggy, actually, in this game. But I, I'd be interested to find out, can you, like, engine swap these? Can you, like, swap out the tires? I honestly have no idea what you'd be allowed to do to this thing. But anyways, the thing's really cool and really fun to drive, actually. Because my thinking is that, with a bit of power upgrades, this thing would be stupid fast. Tap the, tap the checkpoint, there we go. Look at these, though. Oh, wow, we have a razor all the way up in front of me. Can't catch him. There we go. Wheel to wheel, pushing him out up to third place. Closing in on the final one of these. And then we got the, the razor. Yes, they went wide. They ran wide. That's going to be first place for me. Oh, God. Brakes. Brakes. Good. Drifting. Power sliding everywhere. And just like that, at the end of the second lap, we've taken first position. Hell yeah. Oh. Providing I would go the right way in this race. Please tell me I got that. I think I got it with my rear. Anyways, third position. Make that second position. Mr. Razor, give me my place back. Oh my god, he's quick. Get the checkpoint. Nailed it. Through the fence. Up the dune. Oh my god, the, the, the name Dune Buggy just made so much more sense to me. It's like Sand Dune, Dune Buggy. Holy shit, how did I just realize that now? I'm 21 years old and I, and I just learned how they got the name Dune Buggy. I feel embarrassed. Plane! Ugh, okay, it's like I ducked in real life there. Jesus Christ. Anyways, we've got first position back in this race. If we could not go the wrong way this time, that would be great. And just like that, there's gonna be first place. Thank you very much. I find I'm really good at these off-road races. I don't, I don't know what it is, but there we go. First place, best lap of 105. Sweet. Picking up 12,000 credits. That's not too bad. How much on the XP side of things? I think we're gonna level up actually. 10,000 XP. Yes, we are. There's level 49. Thank you very much. I'm gonna be at level 50 soon. Man, these levels are going so quick. Oh, oh, I got the chance at an M4. Horizon edition. Yes, I got the Horizon edition M3. Four with the skills boost. Oh my god. Finally. Finally, I'm getting some more good luck in these wheel spins. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. I wasn't expecting to get that this episode. Oh, that is so good to find out. All right, so we're in our dune buggy. Let's go and do uh, some of this stuff towards the north side of the of the outpost. Oh my god, man, I'm so happy. I'm so like, yes. You know what else has been making me happy recently? All you guys, all you guys with all the love and support on these videos has been unbelievable. The past week and a half, it's just been a sea of love and like smiles on my faces. Hopefully your face as well from just watching these videos. I've been having so much fun this past week with uh, with this game and just making all these things, all these videos for you guys. What? what, what there's no car here. There's no, all right, let's, let's go in the bucket list in an invisible car. Achieve a picture-perfect moment in the HSV 2014. Can, like, Holden please come to America? I know it's sort of like, sort of like Chevy, but uh, let's be honest, Holden's just cooler than Chevy. Oh, are we going up the side of this thing? I think we're going all the way up to the top of that mountain. I feel like I've done this danger jump, danger sign before. We gotta get 200 feet up here. All right, let's just beeline it to this thing. And let's get 200 feet. On this danger sign, it is going to be the danger sign jump up here. Here we go. Here we go, buddy. And away we go in the big hole. And the thing's really heavy, so I don't expect to jump. I'm just going to shut my mouth. Apparently, we jump really far. Are we going to get both? Are we going to get the danger sign and, and like, the bucket list thing? We only got 2,000 XP from that, but... I know that would have been a lot of fans if we did that normally. Let's go do, uh, let's go do that race. Undiscovered route all the way up there. If we, uh, happen to cross in front of the barn, then, hey, well, I'll take the barn fine. But you know what I will take? This discount board. I'm gonna need all those, man. All this fast traveling everywhere, because Australia is so freaking big. It takes me forever to get to place to place, so I've been fast traveling quite a bit. And, I mean, it costs a lot. Is that a barn? No. Oh, I see another one. I'm just gonna grab this one while I'm here. Here's a tip. Whenever you see a board and it hasn't popped up on your map officially, just go get it, like, because you'll never find it again. 1,000 XP. I would never have come back to this point, probably in, like, months. So, just, just get them while you're there. Seriously, top tip. Anyways, here we go. Cross-country event in the Outback once again. In our dune buggy. Hell yeah. Gorge cross-country event. 
Does that mean we're gonna be jumping and stuff? I hope so. You're easily winning. New tough driver tires want to challenge you. Raise the difficulty from expert to pro for an extra 30% credits. Fine. I'll try it. If I lose really badly, though, this is on you, game. All right, let's try this. See how I do here. Hopefully well. All right, this is a point-to-point -point race. I'm usually better at these, so this might not be the best test of difficulty. But I'm currently all the way in ninth, and the pack is pulling on me. So this is like the second to highest difficulty in this game that you can get, I think. I think the one after that, or after this one that I'm on now, is unbeatable, which is just ridiculous. Basically what it is, is the rest of the pack basically keeping up with you. And then one guy all the way in the front who's basically not obeying to the laws of physics. Alright, but I'm not doing too badly right now. I'm up in sixth position, and I am needing to work. I'm 25% of the way through this race. And I mean, I'm keeping up with these guys, which is good. That is good, but I want to win, man. This dune buggy is so awesome off-road, too. Just look at it absorbing these bumps. Hey, was this the was this the race from the Gamescom gameplay like a really long time ago? Look at this. Up to third position. Got the inside on the Razor. And now look at this. Now we've got a Razor and a Penhall up in front of us. All right, I'm being overtaken by the little Razors. Those things are fast, man. Those things are really fast. Jump! Oh, wow, it absorbs the jump really well. Oh, oh, a guy crashed! We just passed the guy who crashed! Alright, keep it up, keep it up, me. Come on, 20% of this race is left. I gotta step on it if I wanna win. It feels like these razors are just faster than me. It feels like they can just, they can just pull on me a little bit. I don't know why it's like I'm having to nail every single one of these corners. And it's like I can't really do anything against them. It's just like they have way better acceleration and a higher top speed it feels like. It's like, yeah, look at that. Oh my god, there's another Illumi craft. Get out of my way. I came sixth. 11,000 credits from that. I mean, that's not bad. Not going to level up 7,000 XP. That's actually not too great for her, for where we are in the game right now. But we're going to pick up over 100,000 fans potentially. After the next event we do, we can expand our Outback Festival already, which would be sweet. All right, where do we want to head now? I guess we should head probably back in here. Let's go do that one. That's going to be a race as well. And then after that, we can go upgrade, man. Uh, is there going to be any driver tires? Oh, there is. It's a, it's a high credit driver tire too. Come on, come back here. All right, race you. Oh, sweet. Our destination is right next to where we were going. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, game. Isn't it nice when that... Wow, the, the, the dune buggy just backfired. I didn't know that was a feature of a dune buggy. It pops a flame out the back. Push you into this. Yes! Ha-ha! Suck it, buddy. There we go. Nailed it. Finally. 50,000 credits, please. And a uh, little bit of this, a little bit of that. Nearly about to level up. Sweet. We're 0.6 miles away from our, from our finish here. Sweet! I love being a dune buggy. Oh, balls. All right, made it. Cross track scramble. Does that mean we're going to be screwing around with the train again? Is that what we, we talking about? What about this one? Do I have any eligible cars? Do I own any of these? I may have owned that at one point. Nope, I don't own any of those. So maybe, maybe, wart, wart, warthog? Warthog? Yeah. All right, we got a bunch of warthogs in all different colors. We got a camo one. We got like a black one there. There was a white one there. All righty, let's go, buddy. And... Every single person see wait. Isn't this our drift tuned warthog? Oh god. Yeah, we we probably should take this tune off because although it's really cool to have a drifty warthog, it's not exactly that fast, we'll say. I mean, holy shit, I'm keeping up with guys. I also didn't change the difficulty. So uh, if I can win and I'm in a drift tuned warthog, then that just shows the AI is not brilliant. Holy shit, look at that corner. I feel like the drift tune's almost helping me around these corners. It's like sliding around and gripping a lot. Feels It feels like it might actually be benefiting me. Also, this is a really cool course as well. It's like, it's like almost a NASCAR track. Oh my god, now I'm just thinking of Warthog NASCAR and Forza 6. You wanna, you wanna make that a thing, Forza? I'm uh, in sixth place and that's not where I wanna be right now. Ooh, ooh, what a corner through there. What a corner through there. Look at all the speed I'm bringing in here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. All the way up to fourth place. Right behind the Black Warthog. Make that second place. There we go. Third place. Damn, what a what a corner that was. 
Look at that, though. And I was closing the gap on these guys as well up here in first and second place. Man, that was a solid uh, event right there. How am I going to be doing in terms of credits and stuff, though? 10,000 credits? I mean, that's not too bad, actually. And XP-wise, I should be leveling up, I think. Perfect. Level 50. Maybe I'll have a chance of winning a Horizon Edition car. Someone got 100,000 credits. That, that's nice for them. I just want Horizon Edition cars, man. But, I mean, 40k is not bad. 40k is not bad. It's going to double to 80. That's pretty huge. That's pretty huge. And, most importantly, our fans, we're picking up over 100,000 fans. We're going to be able to expand our festival. Hey, Nick. Where am I supposed to put all these fans of yours? We're going to need another festival expansion. Or, okay, so so what are, what are our options? We've got the level 1 Outback Festival. We've got the level 2 Yarra Valley Festival. Surfer's Paradise is already level 5, so we can't upgrade that at all. How about Byron Bay? Byron Bay is level 3. I mean, I'd quite like that at level 4, just because the majority of the time I'm on this east coast right here. I'm basically constantly going between Surfer's Paradise and Byron Bay. So... Let's do Byron Bay, actually. I mean, our last two episodes have basically been all off-roading stuff, so let's head down there, get back onto the coast, get back into, like, a city area, so we can start racing around some supercars and some hypercars again. I feel like that'll be pretty... Actually, Byron Bay is sort of, like, a mix of both. There's quite a bit of, like, off-roady stuff in some people's, like, gardens, basically, and up into the jungle a little bit. And then we've also got, like, the little town area as well, so I feel like this is a good area for this. Expand this one, buddy. Let's go. So this is gonna go from dun da da da, a pretty normal looking festival, to a festival with cat ears again. Level four in Byron Bay. So I think that's probably what we're gonna be going down to potentially next episode. Let's see. Are we gonna get some some discounts? Yeah, not free, buddies. Not free. I want it so bad. I also want that so bad. So let's see, how are our events gonna be looking? Can you give me some more events, please? I'll keep the party going here at the festival. You go ahead. Yeah, look at all that. Look at all that new stuff we got to play around with. I think that's what we're gonna have some fun with next episode. Continuing to unlock some or beat some more head-to-head -head races, and then going around here doing some undiscovered events, some bucket lists. Look at all this new stuff we've got. Undiscovered stuff. Is that a speed camera? That is a speed camera. Uh, we've got- we've just got a bunch of stuff around here that needs doing. Even up here in the jungle if we do want to do some, like, off-roady stuff. And I mean, we still got these events all the way out here. I really want to do these as well. I've been meaning to go out here since maybe episode 6 or something. You know what? Let's go get this- let's go get this- let's go get that. We've got to get through these barn finds at one point or another, so I mean, chucking them on like this and just doing a race every now and again is always going to be useful. And I mean, between episodes, between this, between this episode and the next one, I'm gonna be make, I'm gonna make sure to do some more, uh, some more street races as well. So, hopefully, at some point in the future, we can do some more street races and unlock some pretty cool cars. So I'm excited for that as well. Oh, oh, oh! I see something through the trees up here. Hello, hello, hello! Barn find. Oh shit! The Skyline. Yeah, look at that plate. Roar 92. Looks like a Skyline GTR. Yeah, the buddy. Spec. Back in the 90s, these things ran right in the Aussie touring car circuit. I really hope it comes with that paint job as well. That paint job looks so sick. But anyways, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe below. Smash that like button. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys then. Bye.